Hey everybody, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone, and today I'm going to show you the JJRC H36. So the JJRC H36 is a pretty small quad. Um, it's actually exactly the same size as the Inductrix um, from Horizon Hobby, or the Blade Inductrix. You can see I have them both right here. They're almost identical in size, same size props, similar styling. Um, however, this one is a bit cheaper. The upside to the Inductrix is you can bind it with a Spectrum radio, which will give you uh, a little more control. It's a little more fun to fly with a bigger radio. Um, but the downside is it costs about twice as much as the JJRC H36. The JJRC H36 comes with this remote control and uh, I don't know that it'll work with anything else. It might with, uh, work with other JJRC uh, quads, I don't know. Um, but it does fly pretty well with this little guy. Um, it comes with a 150 milliamp hour uh, 1S battery, pretty tiny little thing. And it actually takes a different battery than the Inductrix. The Inductrix takes these uh, uh, 1S 220 milliamp hour uh, longer batteries. This one takes a little wider, sh uh, fatter battery. The difference is um, the one that comes with the JJRC has a cable and a connector on the end where th as these slide right into a um, uh, connector that's on the actual Inductrix. So, Inductrix aside, let's talk about the JJRC H36. Um, first of all, it's pretty cool looking. It's tiny. It's got um, four um, four blade props. It's got these little um, things that go around the props. I guess these are the sort of protectors um, that protect the blades from getting hurt when it crashes. Um, the body can be taken on and off. You just pop it out of these little side things here. It's kind of a little bit of a pain, but take that guy off and can be replaced. There's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, you want to make sure that you get this on the right way um, so that you're not facing the wrong direction when you fly so you can orient front and back although i guess it doesn't matter that much all right it's back on uh, it comes with a set of four extra props in this little baggie here it comes with a usb battery charger it comes with one battery as i mentioned a jjrc 150 milliamp uh, 3.7 volt 30c 1s battery and that's about it. It comes with instructions. A pretty, actually, thick instruction manual for such a small quad. Now, I know the Tiny Whoop is a really big deal right now from Blade, which is an FPV version of, of this, um, the Inductrix. I have not flown one. Uh, I have flown some small FPV quads, but not, not, nothing that small. Um, but this one is a line of sight quad, no camera, no... Uh, no live feed or anything like that. It's really just for practicing, for flying indoors. Um, I'm outdoors tonight, but it's super calm. There's no, no wind or anything. So we're gonna fly it around and see how it does. Okay, so there isn't much to binding it or anything like that. Um, you basically just plug it in on a level surface and uh, mm -hmm. plug in the, or turn on the uh, controller. The controller takes two AA batteries. Um, so pretty easy to put in. Um, and then you take off. So this thing is uh, pretty agile. You know, it, it flies very similarly to the Inductrix. Um, the only downside really is the, uh, the control, the radio control is tiny. The remote is pretty small, as you can see. So for someone with big hands like me, it's a little bit uh, more challenging to keep it under control. But you can see it's... Got some nice agility. It does do flips, which I don't think the Inductrix actually does flip, so uh, that's one advantage. You see the flip there? Let me see if we can bring it over a little closer and do another one. And it doesn't lose too much altitude when it flips, especially if you time it right. Of course, that one I had dropped the throttle, so hit the ground, but you can see it picked right up. Uh, so it has two flight ranges. When you uh, push the upper left button, uh, it beeps between two beeps, which is the higher flight range. Gives you a little more control and a little more agility. 
and the lower flight range, which is a little tamer, which is what I'm in now. It's only got one LED, a uh, red one in the back, as you can see, uh, which tells you which way back is, which is, I guess, good enough. I seem to be doing okay with it based on the orientation of the canopy and that LED. And the backlight's starting to blink, which makes me think that the battery's going down. We've been in the air about seven minutes. And bring it back over this way. And there it is. So the JJRC H36 is a pretty cool little quad. Um, it is a lot of fun to fly. It's pretty quiet. Uh, it's very agile. It's got two flight modes. Um, comes ready to fly with its own remote. It's uh, less than 30 bucks and it's um, a lot of fun. So I'd say if, unless you own a Spectrum radio, I feel like this is probably a better buy than the, um, than the Inductrix. It's cheaper and you don't have to buy the radio separately. Um, it's definitely cheaper than the ready to fly version of the Inductrix because that comes with the radio. I have the bind and fly. Um, so if you're wanting to get into a cool little indoor slash outdoor in no wind flyer, you should definitely check out the JJRC H36. I'll put a link below if you want to buy one. And thanks for watching Ready Set Drone.